Welcome, Jan, to the Digital Scene Show here at the DB Expo 2010. Great. I'm yeah. glad to be here. Here with Panasonic. We, we uh, recorded you on, uh, on the 3D camera and NAB this year. Right. And now you've got a new piece of equipment here. So what, what do we have here? Well, what we're looking at is a new camera. We're showing it here in Los Angeles for the first time. So it's a AG AF100. Okay. And we're showing it with a, a prime lens and a set of rails, matte box from Vocus, um, Zeiss prime lens, hot rod cameras, uh, PL mount. And what's nice about it is it has that really cool shallow depth of field stuff that everybody just clamors for a high definition camcorder. Right, 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 right. I mean, that's what we really heard when we thought about what are we going to do for the next cool thing. We heard people wanting the uh, large imager shallow depth of field, but then we also heard everybody complaining about aliasing and moray and overheating and no high def output for monitoring. Sure. So what, we, what that ends up being is I want a high def camera that has a large imager. That's what we got here. So um, what size uh, chip is it? It's a four-thirds imager, so it's very close to Super 35 Okay. Um, in film stock. Sure. Not uh, DSLR uh, full imagers. Those are 35 millimeter still cameras. Right. Sometimes those imagers can be a little bit too large where you have focus here but no focus here. That's not a very believable shot, quite frankly, because right. it doesn't echo anything in your own human experience. Sure. So um, when we start looking at this, it's much easier to uh, equate this to 35 millimeter film. Sure. Um, so a 35 millimeter lens for um, a 35 millimeter focal length lens for 35 millimeter would be about 27 millimeters on this camera. So they're very, very similar. Very similar uh, shallow depth of field as 35 millimeter film. And what's the coding? What is it encoding? It's encoding to uh, AVCHD, okay. uh, but it's a, a production codex. Right. What's the color space? Uh, it's 420. Um, but oh, it is 420. It is 420. Okay. Um, but I just want to point out that AVCHD, there's lots of implementations of AVCHD. Sure. And when we start talking about this codec, along with the codec that is in our 3D camera, as in any of our, any of our ABC cam cameras, we're talking about a robust production codec, not I-frames and P-frames. We're talking about I-frames, B-frames, a couple of B-frames, then a P-frame, a couple of B-frames, a couple of P-frames. Right. So it's a robust production codec. A lot of the DLS, DSLRs... What's the megabit rate on it? 24. 24, okay. But I can compare it to up to about 50 megabits in MPEG-2 without a problem. I see. Because of the way that the codec works. Um, a lot of the DSLRs are in I-frames and P-frames, no B-frames. And so that's why those codecs tend to fall apart a little bit sure. more readily. Now, are there any issues with rolling shutter, as you mentioned before, with um, this camera at all? Or? I personally haven't found it, but I haven't put on a real long lens yet. Yeah, I mean, I get stutter, but that's uh, yeah, 24p. Right. Um, but, you know. Yeah, right. I'm not seeing the skew that I right. see on uh, previous generations of uh, CMOS imagers. And what's the cost on it? Uh, the list price of the camera body is $49.95. Okay. And we'll be delivering in uh, December. And can it handle any lens at all? or? It can handle, uh, today, it can, you can put any lens, virtually any lens, with an adapter that has an iris ring. Okay. 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 Um, but like the new lenses from Canon or Nikon that have that embedded um, iris ring, there isn't a means of getting the conversation over to the camera to control from the iris ring. What does it camera. record to? It records to SD cards. SD cards. What happened to P2 cards? Uh, P2 cards are still very plentiful down at the other end of the string. Okay, so you guys are still supporting P2? Oh, without question. Okay, because I heard... How could I possibly I heard, do ABC Ultra without P2? I don't know. I heard from somebody they oh, said please. that P2 is gone and no oh, more. Oh, they are so mis misinformed. Okay, well, that's good to know. They are misinformed. Because we'd have a lot of people that are Whoa. mad right now otherwise. Whoa! <laughs> Absolutely wrong -o. So okay. it, it, it is not ABC Ultra that right here? No. It's a different... ABC Ultra, I can do on a P2 card. I that, can't do that on an SD card. I see. And, and Ultra is 422. Ultra would be 422. Right. 
Absolutely, but higher megabits. And higher megabits. ABC Intra is 100 megabits. I could possibly do it on an SD card, but I can't get the codec into the camera. Who's your target market for this? I mean, obviously you're going after the DSLR people. No, actually. No, um, I mean, it just seems. No, well, I, I understand. Everybody looks at it and says, well, it's using a large imager and we're doing high def and all that good stuff. But the guy that buys the DSLR has $2,500 to spend for a camera. True. This is a five thousand dollar camera, and then right. I got to add a lens. Right. So my target customer are the guys that are buying EX ones, EX threes, uh, the JVCs, the Canons. In that five thousand to seven thousand dollar price range, that's my target customer. Will I get people from the DSLRs coming up? You bet, because they recognize by the time they put all the stuff on there to make it do what they want it to sure. do. That's exactly what they've spent, right? So here we got everything all wrapped in one. I've got uh, waveform monitors, vector scopes, zebras. And I see I've you got do dual SD cards, so. Um... Dual SD cards, I've got two channels of uncompressed audio on board. I don't have to clap and slate. I, right. I just record, shoot, edit, get paid. Sure. You know? That's right. all you want to do. Right. Nice. So it has a lot of the same gamma settings that we've had in our other cameras that people have loved our gamma curves, um, our uh, color matrices, those are in here. Once you start plowing through the menus, it feels like sure. I just bought another HMC 150, except I really got a cool lens on the front. Now, is this out already? No. It'll start delivering in December. Okay. okay. This year? This so in year. In a couple of months? In a couple of months, you betcha. Okay, cool. And you said it was uh, $49.95? $49.95 list price. Body only? Body only. Body only. And if they want to find out more about this card, or uh, this, sorry, this camera? This camera? They should uh, visit our website. I think the initial web pages should be going up over the next week or so, because we just launched the entire camera. So the dealers okay. now have marketing. So just go to the bulletin. Panasonic camera or yes. Panasonic website. The Panasonic website. Uh, shortcut to that is Panasonic.com/broadcast. Perfect, Jan. Thank you. Good to see you again.